Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be going through October November 2023 uh, paper 1 from uh, for the course students. Uh, time for this paper is uh, to complete is uh, 1 hour. So here are the instructions, you all know that. So in both papers we have uh, you are allowed to have calculator. So let's start. Uh, question number 1 that I have here write 8 over 10 as a decimal. So, 8 over 10 as a decimal will be 0 0.8, right? Now, Asha works in a cafe. Her wage is calculated using the formula wage equals to hourly rate number of hours plus bonus. Her hourly rate is 11.52. One week, Asha works 25 hours and receive bonus of this. Work out her wage for this week. So, we are going to use this formula. We have wage uh, equals to, let me rewrite here, hourly rate, hourly rate times number of hours plus bonus, right. So, hourly rate is uh, 11.52, number of hours she worked for 25 hours plus uh, bonus is 5.40. Just plug in all the values and you are going to get the answer 293.40. Right? Now, number 3, these are the first 4 terms in the sequence. Uh, find the next term. We are looking for the next term here. Uh, so, first of all, we need to see how do this work. So, you see uh, from here, maybe it is hard, but here 7 when you add 7 you are going to get next term when you add 7 11 plus 7 so he same here negative 3 plus 7 it is a 4 uh, next term is going to be again plus 7 so that is 18 plus 7 that is 25 25 is going to be the final answer now explain how you worked out your answer simple we just calculated this by adding add 7 right uh, work out 2 over 5 uh, of 180. So, 2 over 5 of times 180. So, 5 times 3 15, uh, 6. So, 36 times 2 it is 72. Now, write these numbers in order starting with the smallest. So, uh, we can use this the calculation uh, because they all have different different you know uh, different form this is fraction percentage decimal and fraction so uh, it is easy to when you multiply uh, I mean make them the same so if I multiply this by 100 this will become a percentage this will also become a percentage uh, and then multiply by 100 over here uh, so then this will be 3 over 16 let me see 300 divided by 16 it is 18.75 this is 18.75 this is 18 point actually 70 and uh, this will be 19 and this one is 50 times 2 this is 18 percent right so now you can see which one is the smallest here the smallest one is here and uh, the uh, 18.75 18 here this one is the smallest one number one then we have 18.7 then we have uh, this and the last one is so now write remember you are going to write it into the original form the number one was 9 over 50 uh, number two is 18.7 uh, percent number three is 3 over 16 and number four is 0.19 right so that was it now let's see the next one question number six here we have write down the number uh, that is nine greater than negative 23 so negative 23 9 greater means plus 9 so this is going to be negative 14 very simple question now number seven uh, for 16 days Safiya records the number of dresses she sells 
here are the uh, all the numbers uh, complete the stem and leaf diagram uh, first of all we need to write down all these on side because here when you write the final that should be in order in increasing order so let's start with this 24 24 I'm just writing the second digit here is 22 then 6 6 goes uh, here 17 1 7 that is 7 18 16 also 8 6 then 14 16 also goes here 4 6 here then 27 27 is here 24 is also here with the 2 37 is here 3 20 going to be here 9 is in the first one 15 with 1 is the 5 and 16 is uh, again here with 6 and 32 32 will go here now you see we got all the numbers now we are just going to write down it in order so here we have 6 and 9 this is 7 8 9 first of all we will write here 4 then 5 then 6 is coming 1 2 3 times 6 1 2 3 then we have 7 and 8 right here we have 0 then we have 2 4 4 and 7 this is 2 7 this is how you are going to complete it now write down the mode mode is the number that occurs maximum time if you see this 6 is coming more most of the time and there is 1 here so mode is 16 uh, find the median median is the middle number so as we have here the 16 so 16 median is 16 divided by 2 that is 8th value the 8th and 9th because this is an even number so we will take the 8th plus the 9th value and divide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so we have 8 and 9 we have here 17 plus 18 17 plus 18 over 2 35 over 2 that is 17.5 17.5 is the final answer right so before we move to next question i would request you guys uh, to subscribe to the channel kindly support for that and share it with your friends if you find it useful and let me know in the comment section about the content if it's giving help to you guys uh, now number 8a write 24.07 Eight three nine corrected to two decimal places. Twenty four point zero seven eight three nine. Two places is here. We will just see the right hand uh, digit. Right hand digit is eight, which is more than five. So here we are going to add one over here. This is twenty four point zero eight, right? Corrected to nearest ten. Nearest ten. We are just going to take twenty four zero seven eight. So one ten. Nearest ten. This is going to be twenty, right? We are looking for this is one ten. So this number is less than 5 so we will make it 0 uh, to the nearest number and now find the value of v when u is 30 a is this we are given the values so we are just going to plug in the value u u is 30 uh, plus a is negative 2 times t is 7 so 30 minus 14 30 minus 14 is 16 so final answer is 16 right now 10 a uh, sorry 10th question right 62,000 millimeters to kilometers now uh, millimeter into kilometers so we are going to divide here so you know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters right and 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters so we are going to use this one uh, so as we are changing from uh, lower to the bigger one so this number is going to decrease so 62000 we are going to divide millimeter to uh, first of all millimeter to centimeter that is 10 then centimeter to meters divide by 100 then from centimeter to kilometers so divide by 1000 so this is what we are going to get here so these three zeros cancelled so we have 62 over let me write here 62 over 1000 
so that is going to be 0.062 in decimals right now number 11 we have here uh, two parallel lines this one and this here the diagram shows two straight lines crossing two parallel lines so these two lines are crossing these two parallel lines find the value of x now uh, as you see uh, we have these two lines parallel so that means if this is 100, 100, 114 this is going to be equal to this angle right but if you see this line and this line they cross so that means this angle is going to be 50 okay vertically opposite angles then uh, x plus 50 this plus this is equal to 114 because they are alternate angles right so x is 114 minus 50 64 okay now let's move to the next question explain why 111 is not a prime number so this is not a prime number because uh, let's see 1 1 1 3 uh, sorry 1 1 and 1 when you add up it becomes 3 so that means this is going to be uh, divisible by 3 so we have 37 now uh, also this is multiple of 3 you just need to write down uh, one reason for that because uh, it is multiple of 3 or you can say is divisible by 3 but the prime number should have only uh, it should be divisible by number itself and uh, 1 right find the prime numbers between 100 and 11 and 120 so 113 is the number that is prime number between here now find the bearing of q from p now you see it's written find it's not measure so you are going to calculate not measure and it's written be careful mostly students make mistake here it's written not to square scale so you're not going to measure anything from here so ju just going to calculate the bearing of q from p so go from p like this we are looking for this angle right so now as this north line this north line they are uh, parallel to each other so then uh, we will find out this angle uh, let's say this is uh, so this angle is 90 here so 90 minus 39 will you give, be given by this 19 minus 39 it is 51 so this angle is 51 right so now this line and this line they are parallel right so the co-interior angle so 180 minus 180 minus 51 will give us this angle 180 minus 51 180 minus 51 it's 129 right this angle is 129 now we are looking for this one this one is going to be 360 minus 129 so 360 mi uh, minus 300 and so this is 231 so final answer is 231 for this right now number 14 uh, as the age of car increases the selling price decreases uh, what kind of correlation is this so if one is increasing other one is decreasing so that means this is a negative correlation we are just going to write down negative here right write down the type of correlation there is between height of a driver and value of the car so you see this is so uh, like illogical there is nothing to do with height of driver and the car so we are saying no correlation so you see these kind of questions they just give you kind of free marks now question number 15 calculate the interior angle of nine sided polygon now interior angle is going to be n minus 2 times 180 uh, divided by 
n again n is 9 minus 2 times 180 divided by 9 this is 7 times 180 over 9 so 140 degrees right now number 16 flip invest 4000 for 3 years at rate of 2.5 percent per year simple interest calculate the value of his investment at end of 3 years first of all we will calculate simple interest which is p r t over 100 p is the principal uh, amount which is 4000 rate of interest is 2.5 and number of years is 3 divided by 100 right so this and this is gone so let me see this is 40 times 2.5 times 3 uh, it is 300 uh, dollars right so value of investment value of investment is 4000 plus this interest so 4300 dollars right now number 17 uh, a b c are the points on a circle a b c draw a tangent to the circle at point a now first of all you need to know what is a tangent tangent is a line that touches only at one point to the uh, circle so at point a so we are just going to draw a line that just touches the circle at a like this right so that's first part the circumference of circle is 22.3 calculate the radius now you know that the circumference is uh, uh, 2 pi r and this is given to us as 22.3 so r is going to be 22.3 divided by 2 pi so when you calculate this one uh, this is 3.3 Five four eight approximately to three significant figures we will write 3.55 okay now give a geometrical reasoning uh, reason why bca is 90 bca this angle is 90 now as you see this line passes through the center so that means this is a this part is a semicircle and any angle in semicircle is 90 degrees so we will write down here angle in a semicircle angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees right so that's it for this video remaining question we are going to do in the next part of this video thank you so much guys for watching kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends be blessed guys